Hey everybody, it's J. Payne Shimo here. I'm here with another video. I'm actually going to talk to you today about how you can schedule your Facebook group posts in your on your Facebook page, basically. Um, I've been using this program for about several months now. I was actually using another one, but this one I think for me is a lot more simpler and it's more to pretty much up to in your face, let you know exactly what you need to choose and select, and it's easier to actually use. So I want to go ahead and show you the methods that I use so I can schedule my post. And what I'll actually do now is show you a snippet of my scheduled post. Now this site is called Pilot Poster, but as with any other program that you use when it comes to Facebook, especially when you're posting in Facebook groups, you want to make sure that you are not abusing it. So that way you don't get blocked and sent to Facebook jail because nobody likes that. Um, but they do have... Uh, different types of posts up here to show you and help you to avoid Facebook jail so make sure that you at least follow those what I usually like to do is schedule my posts to post in intervals of one every hour uh, some people can get away with a lot more but for me because I'm pretty active on my page and every once in a while I'll have a little bit of an issue depending on moving too fast so I've been very careful with doing so in, in the last few weeks actually so making sure that I don't get blocked so but I haven't really gotten blocked of anything lately has been like I post too many on too many people's pages or something like that so as always it's all about moderation so whenever this shows up I'll show you guys how to well, exactly my schedule post all right so here are my scheduled posts as you can tell let me scroll this over as you can see that I have connected to both my accounts and you can actually connect it to us. Well, I had three of them, but the other one I don't really use that much. And I kind of want to keep it at two. So what I've been doing is for this one in particular, I had five groups that I had posted in. And it, they were posted in 60-minute intervals. Same thing with this one, five five groups with 30-minute intervals. So it all depends on exactly what you're, what you're promoting. So with this one, it was um, for one post. Then I did it on my page. Um, as always... Because Facebook is particular about how fast you post, but we always want to make sure that if you're going to do more than five, that at least spread them out in time. So give give time. I usually say about 30 minutes to an hour in between space, and also to make sure that you're actually making posts in between that time, and not post in groups, but like other types of posts, like interact with other people on your page. You can even make posts on your own page that is not pertaining to what you just posted in a group. So that way you can have you can show that you're not just using the page just to make automatic posts. You know what I mean? So this way you can also share all types of different information on autopilot. Especially if you have a YouTube channel like I do and you want to make sure that you can share all your information on autopilot without having to be on the computer or be on your phone and and promoting it. This way it can do it for you. Now, what will happen is you will be able you will get notifications from some of these that are paused depending on what's actually going on. You can click on these to find out why. And I believe with this one, they didn't let me um, post it, probably because of a video. Um, now, having certain, certain ones, I have issues when it comes to posting videos, but it varies based on your account. So, there's always, a route, there's always a, another way of doing things. So, if instead, what I could do is that instead of me posting and reposting the same video, I can ask those who comment under the video on my page, or if I share it through Messenger, I can have them share the video for me, and then that way it can get more traction and more views and all that type of stuff. So now I'm just going to show you exactly how you can actually go ahead and submit your own scheduled post and set them up so that you can promote them in other groups as well. And as you can see, this one actually was done today. So today's the 16th. Let me scroll down so you see the time. So today's the 16th, and they actually just finished them today, and I had eight posts. And so let me go ahead and also show you, so you don't think that I'm just talking about it. Let me show you my actual posts themselves in my activity log. All right, here is my phone. Okay. So what I'll do is go to my page. Activity log. And there it is, right there. And that's that one. This one was posted. 
an hour ago. See that, and it's still up there. All right. Now, if I scroll down, show you the next one. It's posted it last night. Still up there. This was posted yesterday. It's still up there. Now, keep in mind, depending on what kind of groups you're posting in, they could either take time to actually get posted, or if somebody actually have to approve the post. It could be a number of things. So you want to make sure that you're careful when it comes to that. Okay. So that's that. So now let's go ahead and jump right into the making the post, and I'll show you how to schedule them. All right. Now, once you get to your click on a home page, and you get to this page, now you can create your, your post so that way you can schedule. Now, what I usually do, of course, come up here. You can do a message with the background. And it'll show up over here. And I'll be like, uh. In Facebook groups, All right? You can also include a smiley face if you want to. To give us some type of flair. For example, and of course, hit that X. Of course, if you ever, if you already have a post. That's already written out. You can just include that. You change the background to whatever you want. You can either use a link. I advise not to necessarily use the links. Only if it's uh, if you really feel like you really want to try it out, just try it out. But don't just use that and just go run with it because you never know what might happen with your page. So especially if you, because they'll give you warnings or they'll let you know that it's not acceptable. And of course, if you get that message, then you know to try to alter it so that way you can get it to post the next time around. We can also do an image. For me, personally, statuses and images work best. If you want to use a link, I would put the link inside. Um, use the image and then put the link in the message. So that way, the link is actually still active and people can still click on it. And also get a, a, a photo versus having a link just being shared all the way around. And of course, getting spam. And I, I just stay away from video. There's no point. Because what's going to happen is going to upload the video every time you post it in the group. And... If you're trying to gain views, that's not going to be one way to do it unless you're trying to get different views in different groups. So, that'll be that post, right? So, what I'll do is I'll leave this here uh, in autopilot. Mm. And then I'll do ask me how, alright? And I'll leave that like that. Now, here's what we want to do you want to go schedule posts. This is the part that you want to make sure you're very careful with. Now, I always do, like I said, I'll do an hour. I might just do two hours. But instead, of what you could also do, you can also do two minutes. Well, the hours, they'll start at five. So, you don't really, if you want to do five hours, it's up to you. Um, I might do five hours, just so that way I don't be safe. I'll do five hours. All right, we'll do five hours. And then, um, what I'll do is I'll come up here, click on this. It'll take me to the date. So now, for me, I want to start mine tomorrow. I'm not really rushing to get mine started. So I started tomorrow. I click here for the time. And I'll start that at, we'll say, 10 in the morning. People are usually up around then. So it'll say 10.30. Okay. Say 10.30. Then... You come on, you leave it. Of course, if you're, if you're already connected and use my previous video as far as how to get connected to your Facebook app and use it, then you would have already know how to do this. If you need some help, make sure you let me know and I'll help you out. And you can do auto pause after however many posts. Um, I'll just do it after one just to be on the safe side. And then you can resume after an hour or so. Well, mine probably going to be like maybe five plus one, so it might be six hours after everyone, which I'm okay with. Because I'm not really rushing again. So with this one, I'm going to repeat only once. If you want to repeat more than once, you can actually select these options down in this drop box. But it is up to you because what it's going to have is it's going to post in that group more than once. So, and then of course, you can click your end date, which I don't have once because I'm doing it once. Okay. Then, what I'll do before I hit schedule, I'm going to come down here and select the groups that I want them to go in. Okay. So, what I'm going to select. Come up here and type in 
marketing because market people who are using marketing will be the ones to use this method more than anything and then I'll click this to get the members the highest number of members and probably could do something like this one this one this one is three I'll do five all right that's five but then what we do click save schedule Oh, then you see that. It says save the post first. So let's save the post. Alright. Uh, click save post. Give it a title. Visual post. Facebook. Oh, no, I just need to save. There we go. Save. You just save the schedule. All right, and that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments at the bottom. Also, make sure you can check this during in your post underneath schedule post and then give me a thumbs up if this helped you out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already thank you guys so much for watching